video, we take you back down to the Canyon del Parto and then into another canyon, the Canyon de Tabla Chaca. Other travellers told us it's even more spectacular than the Canyon del Parto. What they didn't tell us, however, is that the road up to Pelasca isn't really one for a two-wheel drive vehicle like Vinny 2. Another death road that is even more dangerous than the one we just did. We had a really, really nice and quiet night up here. The rain stopped and it looks like we're going to have a sunny day today. I'm not really looking forward to go back down this road. But just a minute ago, two cars came up, so it should be okay. The adventure begins. We have to go back down the switchbacks. I already have a stomachache. I didn't actually sleep too well. It's a little worrying the whole stretch, but uh, me being sh chicken shit and Helen being the brave. Continue on day 12A. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. So this is the easy bit, getting back onto the road. Let's see how it goes on the way down. Hopefully our front axle is not... Did it go knack, knack, knack? Mm. Already. I have been turned the tires. Oh already? shit. So, this is already worrying. Um, we see what's going to happen. This is what we have to do today. moment we don't have to do a beep beep because we can actually see who's coming or if something is coming but this is what we have to all go down well this is just the one flank here we're gonna go down the other side of it this is where the switchbacks are starting again gorgeous weather today it was raining last night rock on the side. This is what awaits us if there's ever a landslide. I don't want to really think about it. We've got oncoming traffic but that was a perfect spot for us to get out because uh, we basically have a wide pull out here and it's a uh, it's a ways to the edge which I truly prefer. This truck is uh, broken down. We have to get past him. This is what we have ahead of us. All these switchbacks here until we get back down. So now we're back right onto the edge. Seven hundred meters down. Thank you. 
again. And then there's about 200 meters away. This is my daily sport here, but, or the sport for today. Jesus, I can tell you, it's quite exhausting. We have to do it today on the way down because I didn't want to run back up yesterday all the time. Plus, I really was shitting my pants yesterday. Today it's a, a little better for me. It's a little lighter and we know what's coming. Hopefully nothing is coming that we don't expect to come. I can hear a truck above us. He might be coming down any second. So I gotta hurry to catch up with Helen and then we keep on going. Oh shit, look at that. Oncoming traffic. Helen has to stop in the bend to let him pass. Amazing with a little tuk tuk here. A little honk for Helen. And I can hear somebody coming from the top. What a great road this is, seriously. It's, it's quite a struggle. He's doing amazingly well. Hola! Today our axles are going down, are actually not making a noise. So we now assume it's... Oh boy, I don't even know the English word for it. In German it's Antriebswelle. It's the thing that turns the wheels. This is what I'm really scared of, these loose slopes. Anything can come down any second. And we still have about 400 meters down to the, to the river. You can see another road going back up there on the other side. Whoa. This is one of those stretches that uh, I don't like. Because <laughs> you can already see that very thin. Slope has come down here this way. And there's still a stretch where the whole side railing was washed off by a landslide. I think it's still coming up. And uh, you can see it is dangerous on this road, especially probably when it's raining like crazy. Beep, beep. <laughs> we, we know there's nobody coming. I'm not going to scream today going along this flank again that already gave me the heebie-beebies yesterday. Heebie-jeebies. Heebie -jeebies. <laughs> this is probably uh, probably 70 degrees decline here from the mountains and anything that starts on the top. Holy shit, you can see the little rocks here on the road already. And this is definitely not one of the stretches where I want to get out. a little rock hitting my head could be dangerous so we're just gonna roll down here because there's actually a truck coming down on top behind us he's still way atop, on top of us but he probably goes down a little faster than we do so we have to watch him in the mirror But 
what a fantastic road. I mean, the people who built it, built it. Holy crap. See, it's probably because of the rain yesterday. Because then it starts all sliding. We've got oncoming traffic because he's lighter. Helen just decided to stay on the road and let him bypass us on the pullout, which he did without a problem. Perfect. This is the view Helen has most of the time today. She's right on the edge. This is probably the most scary road we've been onto so far. I mean, look at this. Beep, beep. You can't see a thing. We can kind of hear the traffic because these mountains, it's almost like an echo. So you kind of get a feeling who's coming up and, and who's going down and how far they are. Thank God there is not a lot of traffic here. This is another really, really sharp bend. Can you imagine that with um, gravel? It would be dangerous. You would slide like crazy here. Yeah, it's sliding on. Yeah, yeah. And it was already sliding on the one bend that only had gravel. Um, we wouldn't have done it anyway. Oh, look at this. Holy shit. <laughs> Still a ways down. I really, really can't think about that. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's all loose material here. Can you see it? Wow. Engineering wise, it's it's magical. I mean you all beep 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 nothing coming. Oh there's a blue truck coming up. to the next bend and stop in the bend then he can pass us easily no he's had he's got two more turns to do say that and then the next one the next canyon is actually coming up but according to our GPS it doesn't have the switchbacks we've got lots of switchbacks yeah yeah and we don't even know if it's tarmac or uh, what a great country this is isn't it this is a this is a true adventure really well there was that road in, in, in Ecuador somewhere where it's the, the road of death or something where all the yeah talking about the road of death yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that's in. Uh, that's actually also in Peru. And it's, no, it's in. No, it's it's in near Baños. It's in Ecuador. It's in Ecuador, and it's now only the Ruta one Muerte. Way. Yeah. It's only one way traffic. Yeah. They've stopped it. And it's tarmac. We might have to do that. Okay, I should never say never again. But I tell you. No, we're not going to do that one because we we, we kind of did it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We we'll see. Bye. These are the local peoples here. Uh, people here. Got my English is crap too. I was trying to just buy some limones, 
but they don't have it and it's all shrink wrapped here. Well, this shoe is black. No, they're not. They're like mandarins. They are different. I bought two just to test them out. We turned off into a different canyon and we are on our way to Palaska. This bus had actually overtaken us uh, about five minutes ago. Now he goes really slowly. Something's not quite right. So far this is a really good road, but we're gonna turn off onto a gravel road. Sooner or later, we'll see how that goes. Tuka Klaxon. We're just gonna follow them. on a double lane road. Mm, the bus is actually driving. We're driving in the middle. Who cares about lines here? We now turned off from the 3N onto another canyon road. It's kind of semi-tarmac. It actually is tarmac, isn't it? Yeah. We're not quite sure what's what to expect, but it goes along the river here, all the way up to Palaska. It's 53 kilometers, but we're going to stop for a cappuccino in a minute. Beep 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 beep. Nobody coming. That's good for us. told by others it's a good gravel road so far. The archaeological site of La Galgada is right next to the road. It dates back to more than 2,000 years ago and appears to have been a place for religious or mystic ritual. Today, though, there's not much to see. It's a small tunnel. like an old mining place here. It's about 47 kilometers to Alaska. Oh yeah, look. This is like a coal mining place here. We're going through the only town on this stretch. La Galgara. This is the map on the map. I'm not sure, but it looks like people still live here. The speed bump actually says a lot. Tiny 
shirt here. Is this a shrine or just garbage? I think it's a shrine to the sign. The god of plastic. The god of plastic, yeah. Very weird. Poor Helen, another stretch where she has to concentrate a lot, but we just had our cappuccino. So the blood boost is in. Wow. They cut right through the rock here. This sign says it's just about three meters wide. Well, we're 210. Oh, that hopefully gives us enough. It's not for the faint-hearted again. Not true. Big buses are coming through here and trucks. We should be okay. It's definitely a warm wine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can obviously see each other in time. That's why I think bad. I've got the best driver in the world to do these stretches. Okay. Hardly any traffic here. Ooh. See, they've gone too fast, really. Let let him go back. I think he's going to make it past here. So I think that's enough for us. We're right on the wall. You can go no, past now. I didn't want to go through that crack there. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Mm. That's okay. Yeah.
obviously the lunch hour is over and we have way more traffic than before. One of the little hamlets here. I'm sure they lead a peaceful life. There's no space if anybody's coming the other way or no. separate from the house. We've noticed that here before. This is so cool how they cut this out of the walls here. dusty. Why does he get back out there now? Oh, he's going forward. Hang on. Backwards. He should be going forward now. I think so. It's probably going to reverse. I think that's your sign of saying well, I can pass. I'll give him a wave. Gracias! And there we go, back on the road. Stop. Gracias. That wouldn't be my kind of work. Yes, that, that was a big landslide here. You can take it they're taking it lots of it away because it obviously is not so stable. We 
was thinking that when we got around the corner. Let's hope the tunnel is okay. Fine. There's no coming, oncoming traffic. There's just potholes in here. here right on the corner but oh yeah they've stabilized all this here watch the corner on my side here if you don't hit the rock this is not easy here Ooh, yeah. oh, here's the lollipop man gracias coming but sometimes you don't know if anybody's already in the corners but um, this stretch we've seen for quite some time now there's nobody coming this is quite a road again are marked off.
is really, really narrow. It doesn't look very stable either. The scenery on the 55 kilometre drive along the Rio Tablachaca is truly spectacular. Warte mal, eigentlich müsste er zurück. Sie ist going to. Aber vorsichtig, hier vorne ist es locker. They didn't. Maybe he can go even a little further. Hang on. Yeah, there's more space behind him. Just stay, stay with him. He's going backwards. Yeah, that's a nice wide spot. Whew. Gracias! That was the perfect spot to get two cars next uh, next to each other. Ooh, a minute before that, that would have been really difficult. It's all about timing in here, really. This canyon is getting narrower and narrower. At least we've got a stretch where we can see if we've got oncoming traffic. There's nobody going the same direction as we do. At least nobody has caught up to, to us yet. This place even has a name. And it's quite green in here. Looks like an oasis. It looks like they've done recently the road here. There is some geese on the road, be careful. In case you didn't see it. And watch out for the little geese and the... Oh, okay, the, we have a little chucky chucky chucky. A little adventurous chucky chucky chucky. Geese is... Ah, now no, she's getting up. And he's, he's, he's going fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be careful not to... But uh, they wet the road, something we don't really like. Is this tarmac? Yeah, this is tarmac. Gracias! Oh, there's a barrier there. This is not what we want. They're putting fresh water out on the road. Hopefully it's not going to be slip slidey for us. This is really not what we want. Because that makes it so slippery. Hopefully we can make it up the hill. Yeah, the cuts my only also. Guess we uh, got here at the wrong time. Oh, oh, it's quite a steep slope. There's another truck. Is he coming past that? Do we have to move back? I have no idea. Holy shit, this is true action here. I have no idea whether we can go or not. Yeah, but deswegen lass die anderen vorbei. Now we have this really wet patch here. There's a truck ahead of us, yeah. Oh, careful here. That is slip sliding. Positive the corner. It's not too bad so far. Yeah, it is like independence here. There's some rocks underneath, that's good, because they, uh, they give us some grip. If we're lucky, it's dry afterwards. 
that's not too bad. Yeah, Siga, Siga. This is obviously the workers' truck. Yeah, how did they manage that? And we're heading into rain here as well. There shouldn't be anybody coming, hopefully. I don't know. 19. Quite a stretch here, and we're heading into the skies. We're over 1700 meters again. Holy camoli! Can you see down there where we came from? Yeah, it's actually quite beautiful down there, but I don't want to get too close to it. These are really colorful mountains. Raining. And, uh, this is just one switchback, but we've made quite a few meters. Got loads of to go. Yeah. This is uh, the GPS just telling us where to go. I really, really hope there's nobody coming now. Holy camoli. Look at that. Yeah. This is really, really scary. Now it starts raining too. Look at these corners here. We really didn't have enough adventure for the last two days. Just stabilize this with a piece of wood. Not my kind of thing, really. These would be great views if we wouldn't have the rain. God knows why this truck is putting water on the road, because it's raining. There you go, big switchbacks. It's steady up. We're over 2,000 meters again now. Up in the clouds. Okay, we're obviously going up the flank here. You can see a light on the top there, but the road is lower. At least we can see now the traffic. dark here now. This is hard work for Helen and for Vinnie too. Slippery surface here. But Vinny Two is pulling or okay. It's only 18 degrees outside, but uh, we're sweating buckets here. Temperature here is fuming. Fuming. What we didn't know was that after Sakai Kacha, the road will go steeply up into the mountains. 
It's only 23 kilometers to Palaska, but the road gains 1,550 meters in altitude just on this short stretch. The many switchbacks are scary, and the rain makes the road extremely dangerous to drive. On top of that, some massive potholes here. I have to go through the tree here by the looks of it. Oy, 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 oy. This used to be a this used to be a former tarmac road, as we can see. Maybe they're rebuilding it. At least we're on tarmac now, or former tarmac. Still very narrow bends. And as you can see, the landslides. Will we even make it to Palaska before it gets dark? There's no way we can park up for the night along this stretch of road. And turning around is not an option either. We just have to keep going, no matter what. This is the tires on the, on the rocks here, you're okay. It's just tiny rocks. Hopefully we don't have too many of these. This end bit of our trip, we really don't need. I don't think... Uh... Oh. Let's hope it stays like this. This would be nice. If there's a weather guard and, an, and a traffic guard, please let us have a road like this for the rest of the... 11 kilometers to Palasta. 2,300 meters way up in the clouds. And it's very, very dark. Tarmac road with large potholes. climbing almost 2,500 meters now after all our stress we're getting more stress because it's getting foggy now I'm so glad at least we're on kind of tarmac tarmac with really huge potholes uh, we're about 2,500 now meters and uh, it's Yep. Eight kilometers to go to a viewpoint. That might be our spot for the night. Yeah, this is... Look at this, clouds. Almost above the clouds. A bit of a gap here. through this village. Yai Mucha. Really, really tough. Super narrow. And in the rain, really, 
really dangerous. We've got five and a half kilometers to go, and hopefully we can find a spot for the night. Hopefully we get there, Helen says. British sense of humor. Failed to come down. But he's holding. That is probably on the brakes. Are you? It doesn't matter, it's just that we're going to be so happy when we see a proper road again. It's about 14 degrees outside and about 34 inside because we have the heater running Oops. to uh, cool the engine down. We're getting more and more worried. This is quite a steep slope. Go langsam. Slow, slow. Okay, try and straighten up before we get through the mud here. Holy shit, that's steep. Doesn't look so steep on the video, but I hope we can make it. Otherwise, we might. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, it's nice and easy, nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. This is gravel here. We might actually make it. Don't push it too hard. Yeah. Stay on the gravel here, on my side, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is good, this is good. This is good. Yeah, stay on the gravel. That gives us grip enough. Yeah, you're good. We're gonna make it. Yeah, stay on the gravel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't go down, because I think this is our road. Yeah, we're leveling out over there, okay. Yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Oh, we really, really, really don't need this. We're 2,840 meters high. Good, you don't need to go fast. You're good. This is the last switchback before Palaska. Well, one on the top here, and then hopefully. We can find a spot in town for the night. We're almost up to 3,000 meters now. We're above the clouds. It's a great view, but uh, boy, this was not easy. This should be Palaska. Yep. Okay. Now we have to find a spot for the night. Stay on the main road. Turn left on A3 and then take the second left. No, stay on the road. Bienvenidos a Palasca. It's 
steeper than we thought it would be. Stay on the road, we're on we're good, we're still on this road. Don't turn left. I don't know where she wants us to turn left, it's impossible. Stay on the road. If she meant this one here, thank God we didn't take it. <laughs> They've been chopping down some trees here. showing you where we came from, somewhere down there. Oh, fuck all Martha. Soll ich die mal fragen? Holy shit. Oh, ich glaube, wir müssen hier rechts, warte mal. I thought we kind of made it. It's a right turn now, I think. Yeah, turn right. Yeah, right is the plaza. Okay, yeah. This looks kind of promising. Where's the where's where's the, the, the way out? Yeah. This must be the plaza coming in. Holy shit. Hang on, this must be the plaza on our left here. We're gonna stop here, and then I walk it. Park right now, but by behind the thing here, behind that truck, and then we're gonna take it. Which was the best way out. Just park up here, we're gonna park here for the night, Helen. Nee, nee, bleib, bleib hier. Because we might have to go this way out. A minute after we had parked up, Kirsten started to hyperventilate. The stress of the day was just too much for her. It's getting dark now, and uh, we made it up to here, but... Uh, I'm trying to check out which is the best way to get out tomorrow because this is not an easy town. I'm still walking through the town to check our way back out tomorrow. After I hyperventilated I'm feeling a lot better now. Boy that was stress all day and uh, I don't think we get it any easier tomorrow but we might actually return and go down the coast. I'm getting some visitors here. <laughs> Buenas. This is actually quite a nice town. Beautiful. Just very hard to get to. I'm sure we're going to have a quiet night. Two hours later. Never again. We're Fix and Foxy. Never again. I mean, the people told us. I mean, in fairness, they have a, a four-wheel drive. Okay, they've got. Um, I think it was a Range Rover, Land Rover type. -ish Defender, I think. Defender. It was. And they they've got four-wheel drive. They said to us, "We can do that this this stretch in our vehicle." And we well, did do it. And we did do it, but only just. Oh my God, the the stress was was too much. And Kirsten hyperventilated once we finally right at the this, end. Right Thank at God. the end, once we finally parked up at this plaza. <laughs> and it wasn't easy getting into this town either. 
So no, we're not we're not going to trust anybody who's got four wheel drive who says we can do that road. No, never ever, no, again. never ever again, because that that was uh, that was pretty critical. We see how we get out tomorrow, because uh, I already we're walked back. in. We're going back uh, we're going the back. tarmac road. Sorry. We're still completely hyped up, so, but uh, we just yeah. made some... So now we're going to go back to the coast. coast yeah. So now we've got pinnacle tea. We've got pinnacle tea and mashed potatoes. We needed our something. Last, our one and only uh, corn corned beef. beef. Cause I, I only had space for one corned beef mm. to bring from England, so that's what we've got. We, we thought we'd give us a treat after these really exhausting two days. Yeah. And look, it looks it looks a bit like dog it's, food, but it's it yummy. tastes it's absolutely, absolutely well. yummy. I haven't tried it yet, but oh yeah, it's mm. good. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. And then mm. we we could do with a well uh, with a bottle or two bottles of wine, but we don't have anything. No, I don't want wine. No, we're at three thousand meters, so hopefully we yeah. get some sleep, and then we take yeah. another day tomorrow and We've see got how. We sleep backwards as well. We've got yeah. to sleep the other way. Mm. Oh well. Oh, Guten Appetit. Bon Appetit. Bon Provecho. What's it in English? Um, no. Enjoy the food. Bon Appetit. Say. Yeah. Night night. In our next video, we tell you if we actually made it out of Palaska okay. Let's just say it is another adventurous road with lots of unexpected obstacles. Now, we're going to take the other way. It's not an easy drag here. She's taking... Gracias, muchas gracias. Los burros van a la casa. Gracias. Muy amable, gracias. Okay. <laughs>